In this video, we will show how to contribute to the OpenBot project using Git and GitHub. At the end of this video, you will be able to create your online personal copy of the OpenBot repository, make changes to the code, and eventually contribute to the OpenBot project by merging your changes into the main code repository. As many open source projects around the world, OpenBot relies on Git to coordinate the development efforts of the community. Git is a version control system. It allows multiple contributors to work on the same project and to keep track of the changes that were made in the code. Git is without contest the industry standard around the world. If you are not already familiar with it, you are strongly encouraged to check one of the many good tutorials available online. Some relevant links are provided in the description of this video. The OpenBot project is stored on GitHub. GitHub is an online platform that provides support for hosting code repositories. It is currently one of the most used platforms in the world. As its name suggests, GitHub relies on Git to manage the contributions of different developers within a given repository. It also provides a set of interesting features to simplify the development process, from prototyping to production. Creating a GitHub account is easy and free. Just follow the instructions provided by the website to get started. GitHub provides substantial storage space for your repositories. Be aware however that the size of a single repository should not in general exceed 5 GB. As most open source projects, OpenBot comes with a set of contribution guidelines, which must be followed by each contributor in order to simplify the merging of new features to the already existing code. The contribution guidelines can be found in the root of the main directory. You should read them carefully. In GitHub, every project has an issues section, where every registered user can propose new features, document a bug, or simply ask a question to the community. To create a new issue, click on the New Issue button. You can then choose to tag your issue as a bug report, a feature request or a general question. The first reflex when writing a new issue is to document it properly. For example in the case of a bug report, it is of critical importance to give as much detail as possible about the context in which the bug was encountered so that it can be reproduced, understood and finally corrected by the community. In the case of a new feature, you should explain in a couple of sentences why you think this additional functionality is relevant for future releases of the project and how you propose to implement it. For instance, how about giving open bot vehicles an interface to control a robot arm? When well documented, your issue will be rapidly reviewed by the project maintainers. Issues can be assigned by the project maintainer to a specific member or group within GitHub. This allows defining the people responsible for the development of a given feature to prevent overlapping. The first step in contributing to the OpenBot project is to fork the repository within your GitHub account. At the end of this process you should get a full copy of the OpenBot project linked to your GitHub account. You can clone this copy onto your local computer using the git clone command. Note that you should clone the repository using SSH since password protected contributions are now deactivated. It is important, if you want to contribute to the project, to create a development branch in which you will make the necessary changes without any risk. Once your development branch is created, you can start making changes to the content of the repository on your local workstation. Don't forget to let git track these modifications via the git add and git commit commands. Documenting your commits is also a very important aspect of contributing to an open source project. It will make your changes easier to understand and track for reviewers. Once you have made the desired changes, consider pushing them onto your GitHub repository fork. Once done, you should be able to visualize your changes online using the GitHub interface. The development of a new feature is an iterative process, potentially consisting of a large number of commits, pushed periodically to the forked repository. The high commit granularity is desirable as it will make the process of reviewing your code much easier for the project maintainers. As a matter of facts, try not pushing 10,000 code lines in a single commit. Do this step by step, while at the same time documenting your changes in multiple smaller commits. Once your new feature is ready to be integrated into the main branch of the project, you can issue a pull request to inform the project maintainers that your code is ready to be reviewed. The review process is a respectful and constructive dialogue between the different actors of the project. GitHub provides a communication channel to suggest specific changes via direct references to the code. Once the review process is complete, and the suggested changes are made, your pull request can be merged into the main project branch. 
congratulations. You are now an official contributor to the OpenBot project. If you like the project and want to support it, feel free to give it a star. We look forward to your contributions.